Hello there again, I'm Josh. I am Romy. And we are a Weight Watchers couple that have a channel on YouTube and we do grocery hauls and other weight loss motivation and tips videos. And if you're enjoying or a part of your journey, uh, hop along and join us and subscribe. Yeah, I do think that uh, we're really excited. We have a lot of new viewers. So hopefully you've been enjoying all of the videos that we've put out there for you guys. And so with that being said, I'm gonna have, yeah, kick it right back yeah. to you. All right, well, uh, if, you, if you clicked on this thumbnail, you probably saw the word, time for a change. So we were looking at it. Um, if you're very knowledgeable about the channel, you've probably noticed one little change already. Uh, we've dropped, uh, we've changed our name. We did change our yes. name. We, we, we started this channel a long time ago as a, we we're going to travel and incorporate our Weight Watchers background into it and of course everything that happened in 2020 the traveling has been somewhat around but not as prevalent as we thought we were but we've had a lot of fun doing the Weight Watchers and the weight loss journey along the way so this channel is strictly our our WW channel and it's just myself and Romy yeah. and, uh, and we're, we're glad that you're here. Yeah, so I know that we are looking to make those changes like Josh mentioned. So should we talk about what some of the changes we made? Yeah. So a quick question and uh, answer in the comments. Have you hit that uh, a major wall in your journey, whether it was uh, scale not moving, uh, motivations not there, and all, all those little obstacles or factors that, that kind of throw you off track. We've so, all been there. I'm, I, we've all been there. Yeah. Sure. So as we're approaching our one year uh, doing Weight Watchers, we have kind of hit that that stall, trying to figure out we, we need that little boost, that little spark. It, it was a game. It's a game changer. I think that's what I told Josh last week. I said, we just need a change. We need that game changer that's going to take us to another level. And we are still sticking to WW, so that is something that is yep. not changing. Uh, those of you that have watched, you have seen us. You know, we've gone on some vacations. We've enjoyed our vacations. We've gained on vacation. We've rebounded, which is so important after yep. you come back from something like that. But one change that we did make is our activity. So we have been, you know, training for a half marathon. It was canceled at Disney, but we're still going to run it. We're actually going to run it this week. It's a virtual, so yeah, this this upcoming up weekend, we have a 13.1 half marathon to run. Yeah, so, but we did look at each other and said there is a change that needs to be made. And, and I, so I think it's taking to another level. So we did join a gym and it's called Orange Theory. It is a national fitness uh, company mm -hmm. and so we did decide to join it's really great it's high intensity circuit training almost yeah. like crossfit training but you have a coach there's about 20 people in the in the group they've done a really good job uh, again you know keeping the social distancing and you have to wear masks in between you know in between sessions but what has what we've learned this week is you know when you go on the scale and you look at yourself every day and you're thinking holy cow those numbers because for me i i do i weigh myself every day it's not a good habit but i do <laughs> but i kept seeing the numbers go up and so you know of course googling and figuring out you know muscle versus fat and calories and you know your heart rate and and all of that um so You'll find out in you know later on, you know, we're gonna talk about our way in, but that was the, the, the change that we're making is that we actually joined a new gym. Yes. We've we became members of Orange Theory and we've gone through a, a week of workouts and there are muscles in our bodies <laughs> that have said, What what did you do? What are you doing? I I have not been used in a long time, now you're using me and yeah, it is it it's been one of those very sore but it's been, you could tell it's a game changer. Yeah. Uh, our bodies feel better a week later. Yeah, I mean, in, in just an hour, you can burn up to eight, 800 to 900 calories. So that's how intense it's been for us over the last, you know, four to five days. So yeah, so we are excited. That's, that is our, the news. It's really that game changing news and we've made some changes. 
you know, not only to the name of our video or of our channel, but also um, with our activity. With our activity. So yeah, if if you've had any activity changes, whether it was join the gym or download a running app, that type of thing, let us know down in the comments. All right, so now for my way in. This past week, going to Orange Theory over the last, you know, several days, I weighed in and I actually gained. So from what I understand, you know, as far as, you know, with tracking and, you know, how I did this week with food, I did really, really great. My activity, a lot of activity again from Orange Theory, but what was different was the weightlifting. So I do believe that the whole theory behind muscle weighs more than fat. I, I think that's exactly what happened to me. I could have done better with water. You guys know I've always struggled with water. But at the end of the day, I did gain 3.2 on the scale. I went into to weigh in very, very sore, um, but I am feeling really good. So hopefully I, over the next couple of weeks, I'll start to see some results when it comes to more defined you know muscles and you know hey no pain no gain and I told my friend actually it was called instead of that it was uh, pain and gain so that's what happened to me all right so for my weigh-in I did the three workouts orange theory uh, was very sore through the whole week there was muscles that weren't really being used with our half marathon training where we're just doing distance running over and over that just weren't being used that were being used with all the squatting the lifts the lunges the the whole high intensity interval training that orange theory offers so when i when i hit the scale i went down 0.4 which it was kind of they say try not to follow the scale because sometimes that could be def de de deflating but overall, I'm, a loss is a loss. I'm taking it, but I'm very happy of the way I'm feeling inside. I could tell that the, there's a lot of things going on uh, within my body with the muscles and all that good stuff. Yeah, and hopefully with that, you know, measurements, you know, we really have always tried to commit to one day start doing some measurements of ourselves. Uh, so I think that's something that we need to commit to to see you know inches versus the scale and we've talked about non-scale victories before in our videos so i do think that the orange theory if some of you are not familiar with it definitely look it up um it's it's been a really great experience over the last week or so uh it's circuit training it's very intense like josh said but i do believe that there is going to be some changes to our bodies our mindset and just the way that uh the workout um, goes. Uh, so yeah. So overall, not much major changes, uh, at least with the name and uh, with our activity, but we are going to continue with the grocery hauls and the Weight Watchers and all those tips and motivating videos of what to eat and this and that. And here are a few for you to continue the journey and we'll see you on the next video.